Hi, I'm Patrick lange from TriOptics and I hope you also have your coffee ready to join me for this coffee break. Today I want to show you how the OptiCentric software supports the manual alignment of cells on an alignment table. So please join me. Right next to me is the OptiCentric 101, the worldwide standard for lens centration testing. And centration testing of lenses is not only about the centration of the optical surfaces inside of a lens assembly, but usually also about mechanical reference surfaces. These surfaces define the axis to which the optical surfaces needed to be centered to. One a very typical task is to measure the run out of the lens barrel and then to bring it to the rotation axis. This is normally done either before bonding a lens into the cell or when measuring an already bonded assembly. And today I would like to demonstrate how easy it is to perform this alignment with the help of our OptiCentric software. This device here is equipped with a dial gauge and a lens cell that is mounted to an alignment table. Here it is a new ultra stable version of the alignment table that is optionally available for our OptiCentric 101 series. When I mean stable in this case I think of its mechanical stability as it's very insensitive to varying loads and can hold its position very stable over time. Different to what I presented to you in our previous episode, if you want to use an alignment table, you have to consider that the sample cannot be aligned in any direction, but the adjustment screws of the table define the orientation for tilt and shift motion. And as the azimuth orientation is important for the alignment, we created a software that displays the indicator values over the azimuth position of the table, the polar plot. This graph nicely indicates the decenter of the cell here in our measurement. And then the software guides us through the alignment. What you see here is the current measurement value as a blue cross and target marks for the alignment according to the table screw position. So I get started with the X and rotate the air bearing to this direction. And then I can use the alignment screws of the table to bring the current value to the target mark. And now I will take out the tilt in Y direction. Depending on the setup and targeted precision, maybe another iteration might be useful. Once we are done with tilt, we will align shift with the same procedure. Before we have to move the dial indicator to the outer circumference of the cell. And now I will now start a measurement. And now I can directly align the Y orientation. Move to the X orientation and align the X orientation. Once we are finished 
a last measurement is done. And as we can see, now the cell runs through to approximately one micron. But the polar presentation also offers a little bit more. We can now check also with a single glance the roundness of the cell. Thanks for following me today, manually aligning a cell on the Opticentric 101 with an alignment table using our polar plot display. For more information, please contact us and see you next time. Thank you very much.